In this video, we're going to take a look at five simple but powerful title animations inside of Apple Motion. Also, if you're a Patreon member, you can download these five title animations and use them over inside of Final Cut Pro right now. The first title animation is going to be this smooth up animation. To get this animation, we'll just select the title inside of our motion project. Then we can go up to behaviors, go down to text animation and select sequence text. Over here on the left side, you'll see that we have the option of adding or removing different parameters. So let's go ahead and click the add parameter. Then we'll go to format and we'll select the position because that's what we first want to animate. From there, I can go ahead and adjust the position on the X and Y axis. Because we want these titles to start a little bit lower in the screen, we'll adjust the Y parameter. So I'm just gonna click and drag that down so that our entire title goes down quite a bit. And I actually found that negative 500 was a really good value for this. Next, we want these to slowly fade in. Right now they're fully visible as we can see in our project. So let's add another parameter. We'll go to format and we'll select opacity. Now we can drag that opacity down to zero. And you'll notice that our entire title has vanished. However, if I were to move my playhead forward, you can see the animation slowly taking place. Right now it's very, very slow though, and I want it to be a much faster animation. To make this animation faster, we're just gonna move our playhead forward about one second. From there, I'm going to have the sequence text selected and push O. That's going to trim that down to that one second. And if we push play, we can see the animation is quite a bit faster. And this is looking pretty good in and of itself, but there's a little bit more we can do to really smooth this animation out. One is to adjust the spread. Right now you'll notice that each letter is rising individually. We could instead go over to our spread and drag that value up. And you'll start to see as I adjust that value that the different letters are all animating at the same time. So pushing play, we can see that they all kind of come up at once. Additionally, we can also change the speed. Right now it's set to constant. So this has a very hard stop when it hits the top. We instead want it to kind of ease into its final position. So to do that, let's change it from constant over to either ease out or to decelerate, which is one I really like for this particular animation. So I'm gonna select decelerate. And if we push play, we can see how that adjusts the animation. And as the letters rise into position, that E has a really nice deceleration to it. However, I want all of the letters to slowly decelerate. So let's go over to the left side and change the apply speed. Right now it's once per loop. We can instead change that to per object. And pushing play, now each letter is receiving that decelerate animation and it really smooths it out. And you could even take the sequence text, duplicate it, drag it to the end, and then we could change the sequencing from from over to to. And so now not only do we have an in animation, but we also have an out animation. And you can do that for all of the various animations we're gonna build in today's video. Next, we're gonna build a blur animation. Selecting our title, we can go up to behaviors. Once again, go to text animation and sequence text. Over on the left-hand side, we can add a parameter. And you'll notice under format, we don't really have a blur category. But if we move further down under face, outline, glow, and drop shadow, all of these have their own blur variations. Let's go to face and select blur. Now it should be noted that if this title, for example, had an outline, let's go to appearance and enable an outline, drag that up, we can see that. In our sequence text, if I were to drag up the blur value, you'll notice that that outline is still staying in place. So if we also wanted to blur the outline, we would need to go into parameters, go down to outline and then select blur and blur that out separately. So I've gone ahead and removed the outline and if we push play, we can see how our title is slowly fading in. Again, we can speed up this animation by shortening it down to about a second. We could go over to the spread and drag that up. We could change the direction from forwards to backwards or we can even randomize it. We could change the speed from constant over to ease both and we could change the apply speed to per object. So pushing play, we can see how each of these letters are blurring in really nicely. And we might not actually want to see the title before it blurs in. So we need to adjust the opacity. To do that, we'll go over here to the left side under format and adjust the opacity itself and drag that to zero. 
So now each letter is going to fade in super nicely and it looks very cinematic if you ask me. So for title number three, we're actually going to build off of this blur variation and we're going to add some additional effects to turn it into kind of a goop slash slime effect. So moving my playhead to the middle, I'm actually going to adjust the direction from random over to forwards. Under our parameter, we'll go to add format and we're going to adjust the tracking. The tracking is just how close these letters are together. I'm going to set this to a value of negative 100% and now it should start in the middle and slowly blur out as the whole title is written, which looks really nice in and of itself. And what we can do is go up to our title group, go to filters, color, and we're going to select this levels effect. Next, we'll need to go over to the left side and expand the histogram. And you'll notice this option for opacity. So right now, as the title is blurring, it's also slowly becoming more transparent the further out it gets. But we can instead tell motion to keep everything perfectly opaque as the blur is happening. So if we go over to the left side and adjust the black in value, I can drag that up. You'll kind of notice how that's shrinking down our title because less and less of it is becoming transparent and it's becoming more and more opaque. So let's take our black in value to 0.2. And let's set our white in value to 0.21. So it's just barely different. And you'll notice how that has sharpened up the edges. So as things are blurring and moving, we're getting this really cool slime goop effect. I just love how this looks. And we could take it further by adjusting our blur values on our sequence text. So if I just keep dragging that up, that slime effect gets more and more strong. And so that is how you can create this really cool looking slimy text effect using Apple Motion. Now, if you think this slime title animation is cool, you definitely need to check out my Apple Motion Masterclass where I have a full bonus video dedicated to creating this cool looking slime logo animation, plus eight other hours of training, a Discord channel, live streams, and some exciting new bonus videos coming just around the corner. If you're interested, there's a link down below, plus a special discount code for the first 100 people to sign up using that link. Next, I wanna create this really cool looking scale slash rotation pop-in effect. To do so, I have removed all of the effects from our sequence text and I've shortened it down to one second. From there, we can go to our parameter, we'll go to format, and we'll select scale. Now we can adjust the scale to be 0%. So it is 0% in scale. And if we push play, we can see how each letter is popping in. However, you'll notice that the anchor point for each letter is down here at the bottom of the letter. And I actually want it to scale from the center of each letter. To do so, all we need to do is make sure that our title is selected and under layout, we can change our anchor point on each character to be the anchor position of center. So now if I were to select an individual letter with this transform glyph tool, you'll notice that the anchor point is now in the center, whereas before it's at the baseline. You can also adjust the anchor point for the entire word, line, or just all of the title together all at once if you want to. But for this, we want it to be centered on each individual character. And this now changes our animation so that it's popping out from the center of each character. Next, we can add in an additional rotation parameter. So we can go to add, format, and select rotation. From there, we can set this rotation to whatever value we like. I like a value of negative 90%. And we can see how each letter is sliding in really, really nicely. We can add in some nice spread so that multiple letters are being affected at once. We can also change the speed. So I'm gonna set this to decelerate and we'll change the apply speed over to per object. Now, one other variable you might wanna take into consideration when building out title animations is if you take a look here at the variance slider. I'm gonna go ahead and expand that out and you'll see the variance. If I drag that up, this will allow us to change how much the animation varies on each letter. So what's cool is some letters are rotating from the left side and other letters are rotating from the right side. So it's kind of an every other letter, which gives us a nice subtle difference in our animation. So definitely try out this variance slider once in a while if you want the different letters to each have a different animation. And the very last title animation I'm gonna show you is how to create this cool twist in animation. It's super simple if we continue to build off the last title animation we built. So selecting our title, we can go to our text tab, 
and under Anchor Point, change it from character over to word or line. And if we push play on our animation, you'll see how that completely changes the way all of these letters are flying in. Now, just like before, we could also change the anchor position from center over to something like left center. And now it's all coming from the left side, or we can change it to right center. So each of these is going to give you a completely different variation in how your title is seen. Thank you so much for watching this video. Consider helping me get to 100,000 subscribers. That would mean so much to me. With that being said, I cannot wait to see you in the next one.